this is literally the worst thing that can happen to this Knicks franchise, man. Oh, man. I'm sitting there in business law class one. You know, I'm on the computer as well. I'm on my laptop. I bet on the Bucks plus three because I knew the Bucks were just a better team than the Knicks, man. Especially after they fired Jason Kidd. They've been playing a lot better. And last time, you know, Knicks had the game tied at 90-90. And what happens? Bucks happened. Giannis Antetokounmpo happened. And they won that game. So I didn't have any hope for the Knicks to really be in this game that much. And they were actually close into the game. But I'm coming back home, right? Driving home on the highway. Come back home. I see the Knicks are getting blown out. Didn't know what happened. Then I hear that Pozingas had a knee injury. And I was like, okay, Pozingas has had, you know, knee problems before in the past. You know, he's been resting some games before previous year. Even this year, some games because of his knee. I was like, okay. Then hop on YouTube. And I see it. Pozingas is trending on Twitter. Hop on YouTube, type in Christos Pozingas knee injury. And I see the injury, man. And as soon as I see it, you can tell. You can tell that that expression on his face when he went down. As soon as he took that dunk attempt and he went down and he fell awkwardly on, I think, his left knee. You can just tell it was bad, man. I mean, he had to be helped off the court. That's never, never good when you have to be helped off the court. Especially like that. And... By the time the game, by the way, in the game, during the game, in, in the fourth quarter, all of a sudden, Tim Hardaway Jr. falls awkwardly, and he even gets injured, so Tim Hardaway's injured, and you know, Tim Hardaway's missed like a month of games already, he missed at like, he missed like 22 games, the Knicks played 55 games, he's already missed 22 games a month worth, and even more than that, of games this NBA season, so even he's been getting hurt. And then at the end of the game, after all that's said and done, we found out Pozingis has a torn ACL. It's the last thing you want. Torn ACL is literally the worst thing. Even a torn, anything that's torn meniscus, Achilles tendon. Ter terrible, man. I mean, when I found out the news, I was like, you got to be kidding me, bro. You got to be kidding me. The future of the New York Knicks. The future of this team, the young superstar, tore his ACL. And this is a serious injury because right now it's February. We're basically close near All-Star break. He won't be here when the season starts next season. He won't be playing. He won't be in the All-Star game this year. He finally made it as an All-Star reserve. And he won't even be able to play on Team LeBron's team, man. And everyone on Team LeBron's team is getting injured, man. Now that I'm seeing this in hindsight, I wish Porzingis was never on Team LeBron's team. I know I was rooting for him to be on Team LeBron's team, but goddamn. Everybody on Team LeBron's team is getting injured. And the Cavaliers are trash. Isaiah Thomas is still not recovering from his injury. That team is just in disarray. LeBron's gonna probably leave after this season. I mean, if you're on Team LeBron, you cursed, boy. You cursed! So I'm just tired about that as well. But Porzingis recovery, man. He might not be back till maybe next March, man. Next year in March, he might not be back until then. And even when he comes back, he's gotta get back into NBA rhythm. He's gotta get into his groove again. All this stuff has to be right for him. And by the time the season, it's going to be in the middle of the season, he's probably not going to be at full 100% until maybe the season after that. Because at that point, you're just trying to get Pozingas back in the game. The Knicks don't have Pozingas. They're probably not making the playoffs. Obviously, this year, we were close. And I never say you should tank because, by the way, they changed the NBA draft lottery rules so it doesn't promote tanking. But... The Knicks were still in the playoff hunt. But with no Pozingas, Tim Hardaway missing a, a month back in December. And now Tim Hardaway's injured again. The Knicks have no chance at making the playoffs. The Knicks are 1-6 without Pozingas. And Pozingas, he's been improving every season. I mean, the start of this season, this is the first season where he's had to carry the load. 
The first season, he was the number one option. Remember, Anthony Davis took some time to get used to being the number one option as well. So, Pazingas, the first season being the number one option, of course, you're going to see the first couple of games. You saw the first 10 games back in October, November. He was dominating, averaging 30 points, man. Unstoppable, shooting effectively. Now he's averaging 22.7. Uh, you know, shooting about 43%. He is shooting pretty good from three, about 39, which is basically 40%. But you see, throughout the course of a season, he does need to improve on his endurance, his strength. And he just needs to improve on being the number one option. But now that he's sidelined, there's no chance. Tim Hardaway Jr. is hurt. Knicks have a bunch of decisions to be made, bro. I mean, Pozingas not being in the lineup is just, oh, man, it's a killer, man. And that just, it makes you think about the decisions back in the past. Think about the decisions on draft day. When the Knicks had a chance, they could have got Dennis Smith Jr. And I'm not hating on Frank Nilakina. I still like Frank. But Dennis Smith Jr. is a starting point guard right now. He's a starting point guard. If the Knicks had drafted Dennis Smith, he would have been starting. And they could have also got Donovan Mitchell. I think Donovan Mitchell was like, what, 10 to 15 a round pick in the first round? They could have got him too, but that's, that's you know, you can't say that now because you don't know what he could have been. But still, and that brings me to this trade that the Knicks did earlier this morning. Willie Hernan Gomez for two future round picks and Johnny O'Brien from the Charlotte Hornets. So the Knicks are going to get a 2020 and 21 second round draft pick from the Hornets, I believe. And they also received Johnny O'Brien, which in fact, they just waived Johnny O'Brien. So let me get this straight. The Knicks drafting all these players. They drafted Iman Shumper, Landry Fields back in the past, Tim Hardaway Jr., Porzingis, Willie Hurd and Gomez. All these players are actually solid. Shumpert solid, went to go win a championship, he was solid in the past. Herlin Gomez solid, Tim Hardaway Jr. was solid, we have just re-signed them. We just re-signed this nigga back. Pozingas, you know what Pozingas can do. Herlin Gomez is on a rookie contract. We have Kyle O'Quinn on the team, we have Pozingas and Ennis Cantor as the bigs. We never play Willie Herlin Gomez. This man's an all-team first rookie last year. Averaging eight points, about what, seven, eight rebounds in only 19 minutes. And this year he's averaging only nine minutes a game. We're not even, it's not even like we're, we're a championship caliber team to where there's, there's, there's a that much better player at the center position to be playing. I understand he's not a great defender, but he's young. You gotta play these players, man. You gotta play Hernan Gomez. You got to give him minutes. There's so many games. The Knicks have played 55 games. Hernan Gomez has only played about 24 to 26 games this season. I mean, when are you going to play this dude? And it's the same thing with Frank Nielakina. Do you, do you realize out of all these years the Knicks have had point guards, our starting point guard right now is Jared Jack. Think about it. Name every single NBA team right now and say which team, how many teams the Knicks have a better starting point guard then. Oh, wait, probably, probably none. I mean, even the Suns, they start Tyler, Tyler Eulis, who I like Tyler Eulis a lot. Even he's solid. Jared Jack? Really? We're still starting Jared Jack? It's the middle of the season. We drafted Frank Nilakina. And there are some games he barely gets any minutes. I think he should just start for the rest of the season. Well, get rid of Jack. Listen, Jack could come off the bench and mentor Neil Aquina, but you don't need Jack to be out there 32 minutes, 33 minutes in a game. Like, Neil Aquina's got to get some minutes, bro. I mean, Hernan Gomez, he wanted to be traded because he wasn't getting any minutes. I mean, he was just starting to play good last season, and now he wants to be traded. Come on, Hornacek, man. Come on, Knicks. Don't start this nonsense, man. We got Trey Burke. You got Michael Beasley. You, you gotta play these guys, man. You got Dwayne Dobson. You got to play these dudes, man. They can't be sitting there on the team, especially with no Pazingas now. Just bowl the season. Let's get this draft pick lit. Let's get to a top 10 draft pick, top five again, hopefully. And let's just see what happens next season. 
in the middle of the season, man. But anyways, man, Porzingis out, uh, torn ACL. I don't know how he's going to recover, man. I just don't know because some people really need that athleticism. In my opinion, I don't think Porzingis really needs his athleticism. Of course, he's seven foot three, but I feel like some of his moves are not really predicated on athleticism. Sometimes, of course, the dunking is. But I think he'll still be fine because he's 7'3". But anyways, man, let me know what you think in the comment section. Leave a like for more. I'm out for now. Peace.